All right, welcome back to the Chateau Deef. I'm at the build site. Behind me is the Chateau Deef, and it's coming along nicely. I'll give you guys some updates. So looking at, at the spring house from the back, you can see it's mostly complete. The coronas are up. The roof is finished. Outside wall is finished. And we had some extra sealant, solvent-based sealant that gives a nice shine and aids in waterproofing. So I decided to use that up on the roof. Uh, I'm just going to use it on the roof. I'm not going to put it on the walls because I want the walls to get a nice patina from Mother Nature and maybe get some moss and lichen to grow on there. Turned out really well. Inlaid uh, river stones. What a difference the sealant is making. And it'll dry pretty much like that. Nice and shiny and smooth, waterproof. This is our main electrical outlet. It's a little bit higher than I wanted, but I think I can landscape this so, uh, so we can bury that. There's some temporary electric coming this way that I want to tap into that temporary electric up above me until we get the uh, permanent solution from the electric company. But we can't apply for that until we have a certificate of occupancy for the main house. So that's why electric here is, is just temporary. But that will eventually be hidden as I walk around to the entrance. We've got Lito's working inside. He's doing a fantastic job of rendering the walls in here. He's been at it for a couple days. And this is dry. Yeah, this is dry. Nice and nice and smooth. Looking out from the inside, that's pretty cool how the the two windows look like that. And then we've we've got a, a wire for the outside light right here. Main light switch here. The junction panel is going to run, you know, all the wires behind the scenes. And I've got a outlet here. Up here is where we have an outlet for my hot water heater and the shower outlet. And then one more outlet down here. The shower is going to drain into this drain here. And that's opposite the main uh, deep well this is the deep well exit so once we get our, our plumber up here he's gonna make all this magic happen on, on this side right here it's gonna be a sink and I'm, oh. gonna, I'm gonna try my hand at creating the sink out of concrete and uh, try to polish it and I've got some concrete coloring mix that I'm going to try to use as well. But the outlet for the sink is going to be here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to affix rocks, river stone around that outlet and then like a flat stone here so the water will just fall, literally look like it's falling out of the wall. So we're not going to use any traditional spigots or or levers or uh, any, any type of faucet. It's all going to be natural. I think we're going to have two electrical boxes. One electrical box is, is only for the deep well pump. <coughs> and then we're going to have there'll be another electrical block box hidden in there somewhere for the general electricity. You can see how the, the ceiling turned out with each each section of those plywood forms we remove them and it I kind of like like the way that looks and so I might uh, eventually paint that or smooth it out and paint it but I didn't want to render it like the walls I kind of like the sections emanating from the circle the way we're going to do the floor is just like you see we're going to use river stones and 
going to be a riprap just like the outside wall. So it'll be a riprap floor. But what we're going to do for the drain, the shower drain, is, you know, I, I asked them to make a square drain pan out of concrete. And that's where the, the water from the shower will make its way to. And above, in, in that drain pan, we're going to use the same river stones, but we won't riprap it. So the water will just flow through those stones. It'll look like it's flowing through the floor and then out the drain. So I'm going, going for a natural look in here as best I can. Even the, even the outlets and the, and the switches, I'm gonna hide behind, behind rocks. So you'll have to kind of reach in here to, to use the switches. I think I'm going to end up with a temporary door until I decide how I want to proceed on that. But uh, I do want a steel door. But we're going to decide, have to decide on the design. And then we'll have to decide how we want to put a, a frame or a jam in here. And it might entail uh, setting some rebar in, inside of the jam and then welding on steel jam to fit the fit the actual door in this is what the uh, concrete coloring looks like so that will be the color of the mortar that goes in on the floor on the riprap on of the floor and I think it's called Ochor is the name of it Tina that I'm that I'm going for eventually on the outside of the Chateau Deep is going to encourage some growth like this, lichen and moss, give it that old school look. I think that'll be all for this update on Chateau Deep. I'll bring you back after we get the plumber in there and get some more things to show you. Thanks for watching.